Alright guys, welcome back for day 86 and 87, another combo video. On day 86 I painted the King of the Dead, and on day 87 I painted the two Heralds that go with him. Um, the paint schemes are exactly the same, so it didn't seem to be, make a lot of sense to make a, two videos that explain the exact same process. So I'll just do it in the one. So first of all, here you can see the King of the Dead, um, and he is painted not very ghostly-like. Um, and this I used Blood Angel's red contrast for the red that you see. I used some Aethermatic blue for his beard. I used some Sparkling Gold, is it called? Let me just check real quick. No, Peridot Alchemy. Sorry about that. From Scale 75 for all the gold. Um, Iron Warriors for the silver. Snakebite Leather for the leather straps and his scabbard. And then Skeleton Horde for the kind of robes or leather armor he has under his robes. Uh, and then I just used some Gullum and Flesh for the skin tone. Um, and as you can see, this guy's painted incredibly messy. Uh, all the primer isn't covered and some of the colors kind of mix into each other. And that's fine for what we're going for. Um, so then, as uh, so you can see here, the next step, we moved on to making him look like a ghost. So this is Hex Wraith Flame applied over the entirety of the model. Um, as you can see, it kind of dulls down a lot of the colors, brings out, kind of makes the recesses glow a little bit. And it's just, I mean, it's a paint meant for ghosts, so it works. It does its job. And then as you can see here, this is the final step. And this is after a dry brush with Pallid Witch Flesh. Um, and this really makes him come alive as a ghost. Um, I used makeup brushes to do this, and I did a sort of two makeup brush style. Instead of just pure dry brushing, what I did is I got a smaller makeup brush and just had it a little bit damp, not wet, but just tiny little bit damp, and then did my first dry brush, and that gets sort of the softer white that you can see on bits and pieces of him. Then I took my bigger dry brush, makeup brush, that was completely bone dry, and went back over again, and that gives you the sharp lines that you see, like on the edges of his robes, the lines on his beard, the edges of the crown. And those two in combination give him this really nice ghostly appearance. Um, and then as you can see now, these are him with his two heralds. Um, the, I did the exact same process on the heralds. Um, I just painted the bases with Sigor Brown because the person I'm painting these for is not really sure how he wants the bases done yet, so we're going to go through some more of the army before we decide how to base them. So yeah, thank you everybody for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the sort of cut-ins of the in-progress photos, please do let me know. Um, I don't necessarily take in-progress photos, but for this one, I thought it would be good since there's such drastic steps being taken on this miniature. Well, but yeah, just let me know if you think I should do that for some more in the future or not. So yeah, thank you again, everybody, for watching, and I will see you on the next one.